too. Okay. Oh, nice to see you too, Debbie. I wasn't sure you were on there. Hi, three of your friends are live too. Oh, cool. So I just wanted to come on here and um, do a little painting, maybe a little water falls or something like that and then you can get some idea of how to paint the waterfalls because it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you easy techniques and I'm going to do it on a smaller canvas okay so see that's not pretty but I'm not going to do it this elaborate not for this live stream not until we get like a two or three hour live stream and I get a bigger canvas but these are pretty look so anybody out there know how to paint already you guys know how to paint all right, so I think this will be fun. You, you know, if you're if you're hanging out and you uh, want to watch me paint, and then you can go to my YouTube channel and you can learn how to paint step by step, uh, full painting. Okay, full tutorial. So I'll put this one away, and then we, like I said, we'll do something like it, but not not exactly like it. All right. So I have a, a canvas here. This one is only a, a nine by twelve. Okay, it's a small canvas because I'm not going to be here for two or three hours. And um, I'm going to make sure you can see it when I get started, so I'll fix that for you. And then I will show you the brushes I'm going to use. So if you got any questions, let me know, okay? If you got any questions, let me know. All right. So uh, I have these brushes. That's a fan brush that I use for the waterfalls, okay? So, and then I have a flat synthetic brush. It's a soft brush. It's, it still bounces back. It bounces back. It's not too soft. Hi. Hi, beautiful. And hi, Ontario. And I have another smaller flat brush, and I have a liner brush. See? So these are brushes that you can use, and you might need other ones too besides, right? You might need other ones besides, but I usually pick these type of brushes for now. This is this brush here I use uh, for flowers and things. I call it a magic brush, <laughs> my magic brush. So that's the brushes. And then I just use this palette here. This is a disposable palette, and you can buy them, them at dollar stores or anywhere, you know, Walmarts and stuff. and. Uh, then when you finish with this, you can throw it away. And I just use the primary colors. I don't have anything, you know, that's hard to find. You have any red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors. You can make any colors you want out of those. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna to show you how I make some my colors. See, it's just pretty simple, hey. So what I normally do with the waterfalls is I will take some tape and I will tape it off. So I'm going to reach over and I'm going to tape it off. So I will make sure you can see it. There it is. And I'll make sure you can see it. There it is. You may not see my head. <laughs> but because this one over here, I'm doing a YouTube uh, live also. And the YouTube live, I have to make it into a... Um, uh, uh, vertical Whoosh. takes me a while vertical and horizontal I always have a hard time saying those words yeah and uh, so this one is vertical that's the way TikTok likes theirs and that one is horizontal YouTube so I'm just trying this out I, ha I haven't done a lot of videos now the one over on YouTube is kind of it's, it's kind of giving it a hard time so I don't know what's going on over here, guys. I'm not sure what's going on over here in the YouTube land, but uh, it seems to be, hmm, it's not working out very good. But at least TikTok is still here. So guys, if you rather go to my TikTok channel, just go into TikTok and look up Allison Pryor or Allison and Bernie and see if you can find me there and then you should be able to find my YouTube, my, my TikTok. Well, I'm sorry that didn't work on YouTube. That's too bad. <laughs> Mine's always something, isn't it? I said to myself before I started this, I said, you know what? Something is gonna go wrong tonight and my YouTube live won't work. 
Isn't that cool? <laughs> Swipe to. Uh, I don't know what they went there. Well, that's too bad that one's not working over there. So I'm just going to. I'm going to have this horizontal. Where does it go? See how I get mixed up? So this is vertical. That's horizontal. All right. So I'm going to put it vertical so that I can tape it off. I'm going to decide where I want my waterfall to start. So I'll just put this here like this. That way i got lots of room to make a nice long waterfalls and some water here. See? Because that's my horizon line. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my YouTube. I, I'm sorry about that, uh, Debbie. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, it's it's lagging, isn't it? Yeah, that's too bad. I don't know why that's happening. Oh my, it's always something. I'll do another one. If it's really that bad, I'll come in and do another one tomorrow and see if I can set it up properly. I don't know what's going on there now, but uh, here we are. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna make a nice pretty sky for you first, okay? And um, it's nice to see everybody here, though. Oh, yeah. You can give me some likes. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> give me some likes. So I'm going to use my flat brush, this one here. And you can see how big it is compared to the canvas because depending on your size of your canvas, you might need a bigger brush. So you just get a size 12 or you can get a half inch or a or an inch or two inch brush if you're using a bigger canvas. So I'm going to take this brush and I am going to put it in my blue. Okay, so I got some blue. Now, don't need a big lot, but I'm going to use my blue for the top of the canvas to get a nice. But I'm going to use my blue for the top of the canvas to get a nice, nice sky, a little bit of white. I don't want to, I want to make it a little darker on the top than it would at the bottom, okay? So we'll go with some blue on top. See? Now, if it won't move, we just missed it. Just missed it with some water. You can mist it with water or you can mist it with my magic mist. And my magic mist is a formula that I made up. Hi, thank you. Celia, is it? I don't want to pronounce your names wrong. I know they're, they're uh, profile names, but but uh, I still don't like to pronounce them wrong. So this is magic mist. Now it's on my um, YouTube channel, how to make it. Okay, it's just something I made up to help you mist your canvas and make and make the paint move and blend better. Okay, sometimes paint won't move because it's and I'm really warm here today. We have a heat wave here in Newfoundland today. We have a heat wave, so um, so it's very very humid and very warm. And it's now a quarter to nine in the night. And I didn't announce it because I wasn't planning on doing a, a video tonight. But um, I decided to give it a try because I'm not really that used to doing lives. You know, I don't do a big lot of lives, as you know, on YouTube here. But I want to get used to them because I really enjoy doing lives. So I'm just bringing my blue sky on top like that, see? Good. There we go. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take more white on my brush than blue, and I'm going to load it up with lots of white. See that? Hello, hello. Yeah, surprised to see me because I didn't, I wasn't really planning on it, Mike. <laughs> I just said I'd come on and do a little painting. I never planned on, on really doing anything today, but it was so hot here today. You know, I wanted to do a live stream earlier today, but um, it was just too hot. So I said I'll do one just now before the night ends. So I'm putting more white on my brush. So 
So I don't know how many people are out there interested in painting because most people come to my TikTok to see myself and Bernie sing. But I want to mix it up. I don't, I don't know. I, it's fun to, to have different things going on in your life, isn't it? You know, it's not just all about singing. Because I want to do more TikToks on my channel and mix it up. And people had, that, you know, are just only interested in the music part probably won't come by. But that's okay. Because, because I want, you know, you have a large audience and then different people can come in. Yes, in the art world. I'm in the art world. Yeah. Thank you, Rain Hobby. Yeah, so I just... So see how the blue... See how the white... When you put white on, see... Because skies, if you look up in the sky, you're going to see that the sky is darker at the top than it is at the bottom. And already that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Huh? So that's pretty. There we go. See? And it blended well, nice, because of the magic mist. And... Um, and you can use only water if you want to, okay? And if you want to do a cloud, you want to do some clouds, you can take the corner of your brush, dip it in white. And because this is still wet, you get a bit of blue shadows in there. All right, so just whatever kind of clouds you want, you just touch the corner of your brush and make little circles. And that way you get nice little clouds. See a pretty little cloud? Look, just wiggle, 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 wiggle. See that? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can put one here. Overlap it. Overlapping clouds is really nice. Have one behind there that's kind of faded out as if it's further away. And whatever's left over in your brush, you can kind of just dabble it on and you get um, smaller clouds. Because uh, they're further away as you come to the bottom. And pick up more paint and get a couple of bigger clouds here. Little circles. There we go. I don't want it to look like a car. Sometimes I end up with a car. I don't want that. So you get some nice little clouds going on there. And then you just take the corner of your brush and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just make sure you get enough paint on it so that you can, so it'll come off on your brush. Touch and wiggle, wiggle. And little circles and wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and whatever's left over on your brush, then you can make some a little more little clouds see just all it is is just touching your canvas with your brush and, and letting the paint fall off it gives you some kind of nice far away clouds so you don't have much paint on your brush soft clouds see cool just down here just put paint on your brush and just wiggle around see what happens see what happens here is the blue paint see my brush is dirty but that's okay i don't mind that see because paint is wet you can blend it all together so that pretty very interesting yes it is very interesting yeah yes yeah, looking pretty already isn't it alrighty then let's see what else we can do now this one let's see if this brush is good enough I think that brush is good enough sometimes because we want to put our trees here we're going to put our fir trees or our evergreen trees okay and we're going to use a fan brush see the fan brush look at that all righty then now what i want to do is first thing i'm going to do is add black to my brush see so i'm just taking the brush and i'm adding the black paint where are you there you are so i'm, I'm Pulling it through the black paint so I can get a nice, thin, chiseled edge brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that because black and yellow, uh, black and yellow makes a green, a dark green. Okay, so black and yellow makes a dark green. All right, a very dark. Where I can't find you. <laughs> dark green. There we go. Yeah. So just watch this. You're going to be quite surprised when you see this because this is pretty simple. So you're going to take your brush and you're going to have it standing up vertically. And you can start here on the edge if you like. And we're going to get tap. So you can, when you tap, you get these tops to your trees, see? See, and then what you do is 
come down. So you want to keep those tops. So now it doesn't matter about you filling in the bottom, because we can, we'll highlight those after to make them look more like trees. But if you want you to get those tops, they look like trees. See, they're starting to come along, see? So now when I do more, you'll be able to see those trees much better. All right. Now, I just want to make sure if anybody got any questions, I want to be able to see your questions, okay? So, then I'm going to, so I want to come down to a smaller, like smaller ones that will end probably here. Let's just say it ends there. So we'll just make sure we get our tops. It's the main thing is to get those tops and then the rest is just tap, 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 right? And so you pick up more paint and you tap, 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 tap. See how I got that top that time? I just tapped and I got that top. See? As long as you get those tops, you're going to have trees that look like trees. And then you just tap, tap the corner first, and that way you get a nice top to your tree, and then you just tap, tap, tap all the way down. And it looks like you're going to get it smaller and smaller and smaller. And that tape helps you control, all right? So that's some of those trees there. See? There we go. I was just curious, how does someone get you to add them back on here? How did someone get you to add them back on here? I'm not really sure. That's Bob Ross trees. Yep, you are doing a, oh, thank you. I'm doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, I love Bob Ross. I learned a lot from Bob Ross. Yeah, see, Bob is my, he's my instructor. <laughs> yeah, and um, you can buy these on my Amazon shop, or you can get them on Amazon, but if you can't find them, you go to my Amazon shop on YouTube, the link will be there, and then you can buy them there, and these are also very nice, look, they pretty, this is like a little calendar that came with, that came with that actually, that actually came with the Bob Ross bobblehead, it's called Bob Ross bobblehead, man, I miss Bob so much. I used to watch him all. Me too. I, that's how I learned. That's how I learned everything from Bob Ross in the beginning. And uh, I love, I mean, I got so much stuff belong to him. I got sweaters and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. Look. Nice. Well, so I guess you can get these on the uh, on my Amazon shop or you can just go look in, in Amazon and um, you'll be able to buy those there. Can you give me a tip on self-portraits? Well, I self-portraits, well, you look in the mirror and you, um, I would take a picture of myself and then I would use the grid method. Do you know anything about the grid method? So I have uh, videos on YouTube, how to draw portraits. And um, yeah, so uh, first thing I would do if I were you was take a picture. And then you can blow it up to as big as you want to put it on the, on your paper. And then you can draw it out or you can trace out the outline of your face and your nose and your mouth and your eyes. And then you can transfer when you get that drawn out, just the out the, the main parts. Then you can transfer to the paper you want to draw on. Then you do all your shading. The shading is what brings it to life. So yeah, I would take a picture. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for coming in. I must say I'm, I'm happy you're here. My YouTube channel didn't work out too good. I'm doing a live on YouTube too, but it didn't work out for me. Um, there's six people watching, but I don't think they can see anything going on because it's, it's lagging really bad. So I gotta figure that out so I can give them a better video. So now we have 
our black paint again. So you have to reload, you pull through, make more yellow, get some more yellow in there. And then you can fill it up, see how much I got. I got a lot on there, right? Because you want to be able to keep going without having to go back and forth all the time. And then you can start over here. And you can make some taller and shorter and you just tap, 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 tap right up on the top. And then tap down, but make sure you get that top. See that little top I got there? And then you just tap, 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 tap. You can put some in between. Make it look like you've got tall trees and short trees. See? See how I'm getting those tops? Right? And then you can come down like the other side. Both sides don't have to be exactly the same, but just for the video, I will get it close enough. Like that. But it's not exactly the same, because I'm trying to make it so... Because you're in the woods, so you're probably going to have different types of trees, different things going on there. As long as you get your tops, it'll look like trees. It'll look like a forest of trees, see? So we'll get some tops, and then we'll come down smaller, 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 until we kind of meet over with the other one there. But we can leave, we don't have to have it coming over there to meet. They can just end there, because maybe there's a river back here, or maybe there's, maybe they're so far away you can't see, and maybe, maybe you could put some paint. Let's try something else. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could put paint on the tape, because we want really tiny, really, really tiny, put paint on the tape, because we want really tiny, really, really tiny, far away trees. Happy little trees. Yeah, happy little trees. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I can't stop laughing now. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. And I can pull up that wet paint and pull that up in the back here. So it looks like little tiny, far away, happy little trees. <laughs> oh. So they will be our far away trees. So you don't need to make, just take the corner of my brush and make sure they came up a little bit more. Make them different heights and things. But I don't want them too tall. Now, let's see. make sure there we go now just watch me take the tape off how pretty that is see once you take the tape off now you can see how pretty it really is huh? yeah yeah I hope you learned a little bit you know and I you know because I didn't realize that so many people would come in because I know you guys are used to seeing me sing and and things like that but I want to do many things I, like i might even come out and do a drawing lesson maybe i'll do a portrait because people are interested in portraits you let me know what you're interested in i'll come out and do some portraits and some paintings and drawings i'll show you how to draw and shade so down here now oh yeah we want to see how you get a bit of green in there but i want to get a little more green in there so i'm going to add more yellow to my dirty brush to bring up that yellow okay See, now it's more yellow. Because I add more yellow. Now you can add, you can add blue and yellow together to get green. So you can either use black and yellow to get green or blue and yellow to get green, okay? And then you can use that for highlights. So you tap over what you already did, but you don't need to go on every single tree. You just tap, tap, tap to bring out some of those trees. Now, should have did this before I pour it, you know, before I took the tape off, but I forgot. So I'm adding more yellow so I can bring out those trees. See, I'm just tapping vertical on top of the trees I already did, but I'm not doing every tree. I'm just tap, tap, tapping very gently. And then I'm going to add more yellow. I want to get it even brighter. So now my brush is pretty dirty. So if I don't get it yellow enough, I'll just clean my brush off, but you can see that some of these trees are now coming out, coming out more, see? And then that. So just bring out more yellow. And because your brush is dirty, it will be a nice yellowy green. 
right? Because you don't want them too bright, right? You want them, you know, unnatural. So what we're going to do here to make a nice waterfalls is we are going to paint this whole background here. The way I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this whole back, this whole bottom here black. So I'm just going to use my flat brush again. I'll clean it off, and I'll use my paper towel to clean it off. Well, I want to I want to dip it in water, and then I'm going to get a clean flat brush again. I'll clean it off, and I'll use my paper towel to clean it off. Well, I want to I want to dip it in water, and then I'm going to get a clean clean. It doesn't matter how clean because I'm going to be using black paint, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, so I can't believe my YouTube one won't work. That's unbelievable. That's too bad. Like I said, every time I do a live, even when I do live streams, when I do my own live stream, when I'm singing by myself, everything goes wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I should hire somebody professional to help me out. So I'm just gonna go pure black pure black on my flat brush. I'm just going to paint the whole bottom of this canvas black. Now you're going to say, well, how are you going to get a nice waterfall with a big black background? Well, you'll be very surprised. Black background paintings are beautiful. The light colors actually come out beautifully bright. So if you ever want to do like a, a white rose on a black background, it looks really pretty. Anything bright against darks. You gotta, yeah, so anything that's, it's contrast, right? So it's contrast, so any contrast in your paintings, it, it, it's beautiful. The lights against the darks look really beautiful. All right, so we'll get that done. And then we will I might miss that one. I'll miss it with my magic mist. There we go. My magic mist will help move a bit. There we go. It's moving better there now. Because that way, if you use the, the if you use a little bit of water or the magic mist, then it'll help save paint because you won't have to use as much paint. All right. Let's see if anybody's asking any questions. Yeah, it's nice to see you guys. So you guys over there, if you can hear me, or uh, I know you probably can't see this very well, but I will be doing another live for you, for YouTube, so I can make up for this lagging. But you guys do, this one is coming off really nice. This one is nice and steady and clear. This is, you know, the, my TikTok one is really good, I must say. I don't know what's causing the, the lagging. But anyway, it's not lagging here on TikTok, so I'm glad that's happening at least. But I'll get YouTube straight away. Because I really want my YouTube. I have 50,000 50, subscribers on YouTube, would you believe? So I want them to be able to see. But I just started TikTok, I think, less than a year ago. A year ago, maybe, or whatever. And, and I got, what, almost 10,000 people following me, so that's kind of nice. I, I love TikTok and I love YouTube and I love going live. I love going live. It's so nice to talk to everybody. But I want when I go live, I don't want to just sit there and chat about stuff. Like I don't want to just chat. I want to teach. I want to teach. I want to people to learn something from me. I want to entertain you. I want to entertain and I want to teach and I want you to learn things from me. So that's what I want to do. So let's get, and I mean, there's some people on there, they can chat and it's very interesting chats. A lot of nice uh, live streams. I sit down and watch them. I'll, I'll probably watch a couple now after I do this. I love the singers and I haven't seen much there for painting, for artwork or anything. I've never seen too much on artwork. I, mean, I should I should probably. I haven't seen much there for painting, 
for artwork or anything. I've never seen too much on artwork. I, mean, I should I should probably uh, see much there for painting for artwork or anything. I've never seen too much on artwork. I, mean, I should I should probably uh, yeah. Now we get a nice black background. Now that's still wet, which is fine. Okay, it's fine. That is so fine. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So I'm probably, yeah. So now we're going to, for the bottom part here, we're going to do, I'll show you how to do the waterfalls. So the waterfalls, I'm going to use my fan brush again. So the fan brush I used for the trees. Now I'm going to use it for the waterfalls. Thank you. Thank you, nice. Thank you so much. All right, so. So as you can see, I only used the three colors, red, yellow, and blue, and I got some black to darken colors, and I got white to lighten the colors, okay? So you only need three colors, but you can use as many as you want. I mean, if you look at what Bob Ross used to use, uh, he, he used about seven, I think, colors. So you pick your favorite colors, but they have to be the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. So any blues that you want, any yellows, any reds, they even could be different color. You could have two or three yellows on this palette, on your palette, if you want. But make sure you got red, yellow, and blue, black, and white. Or if you want to make your own black, you can do that too. You can make anything out of those three colors, all the colors in the world. So it looks like it's not lagging over here anymore. What's going on? What's going on over there? The lagging has gone away. Oh, my YouTube is back. Yay! Yay! All right, guys. Now, so I have my fan brush, all right? Fan brush. And I'm going to drag my fan brush through the blue, all right? So drag it through the blue. Drag it through the blue. Both sides of your brush, fill it up nice and really nice and thick. That's uh, ultramarine blue is a really nice color. Ultramarine blue. That's a really popular one. So we're going to take the waterfalls. We're going to go here and I'm going to take the tip of my brush. Take the tip now, not right hand, left handed, but if you were right handed, you'd do it this way, okay? And you come over, and I'm left handed, so I'm hoping that I won't get in your way. So um, I'm just going to take the tip of my brush, and it is horizontal, and I'm going to touch, and I'm going to pull over and pull down, all right? So I'm going to come down to about here, that's about as far as I'm going to go. So I'm going to reload, reload my brush, and then I'm going to. Thank you, user 13111405, etc., etc. <laughs> and I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to touch, I'm going to come over, and I'm going to pull down. So already it's starting to look cute. Depends on how, how much you want, how much waterfall you want, how wide you want it. Okay, so that's kind of nice already. So I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. So I'm going to lighten it up now in a minute. Whoops. <laughs> Look what I just did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So. See? See that? So that's your base coat for your waterfall. Okay. So the black is your shadows for your waterfall. And your blue is your shadows also for your waterfall. But you got the, the dark and the medium shadows, and then we're going light. So you got three values. We call them values, right? Values of dark, medium, and light, okay, basically. And now I'm going to take my dirty brush. My brush got blue on it, all right? And I'm going to take my dirty brush, and I'm going to put it in through, take it through the white. I'm going to pull it through the white. And I'm going to pull it through both sides. So I want lots of white paint on there. All right? Lots and lots. And that way, it'll flow rather than be sticking. 
you know so that way you can have a nice flow once you get it started so you're going to do the same move as you did before high lux i think it's lux b <laughs> i can't pronounce it so it's going to be the same as before thank you for the rose my gosh thank you my goodness gracious so i'm going to do the same same thing I did before. All right, I'm gonna try this with my right hand so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now, I might mess it up because I'm using my right hand, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So you touch, pull over, and come down. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Just look at that. Look. Look at that. See how pretty that is. Right. So that's, you know, you got three steps there, right? You're black and then you're blue and then you're white. Hi, Hungary, Newfoundland. I'm from Newfoundland. Thank God you're not, thank God you're not singing. <laughs> you bad boy or girl. Bill, well, thank you, Bill. You must be one of my trolls. I told you to stay with, but yes, keep coming in. You're a character. You're funny. <laughs> thank God you're not singing. <laughs> it's so funny. I get a kick out of it. I get a kick out of these, these, uh, I don't know, they call them trolls, but I think they're just com comedians. Yeah, very beautiful painting. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And I was just watching one of your painting videos on YouTube, I guess. Hey, you're watching my YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So let's do the other side. So. It's nice that the blue is wet. Make sure your blue is wet, okay? If it dries up on you, just put more blue paint on it, all right? So I'm gonna load up again because I didn't have enough white for the top part. So I want to make sure I get enough white to put up here. See, Isn't that pretty? Come over a little further too if you want. You know, it depends on what you want to do with it. Right, you can have it bigger or smaller have little bits and, and you can have you can have it also you can have it so that maybe there's some rocks or something there and you can have it kind of starting here at another one right you know what I mean like touch and pull down you got you got another one maybe it's hitting off a rock or something see see that it's kind of cool isn't it right now down here so what we'll do down here is we will take our fan brush or you can use a flat brush and you can clean it off a bit so there won't be too much paint on your brush but you, you know you can leave it you can leave, actually leave it because we're going to go back into blue again we're going to go back into blue again pull through the blue and some white all right got blue and white on our brush okay and then we are going to come at the bottom of the waterfalls and start going back and forth like this and that way you'll get some nice water going on here right so it's up to you what way you, you want to end it down here doesn't matter Right? And over here, we're going to have different things going on. So we're just going to smooth it out here. So we, now we got some nice water going on there. And I didn't do very much, did I? I just left some white on mine with blue, and I ended up with uh, some water. See? See? So painting is not as hard as you think it is. Wonderful looking, really water river. Yeah, I know, you know. It, it's not as hard the trick is to have that really dark background right because if you're doing that on light background you would, it wouldn't jump out as much see how it's jumping out really nice right so you can see how nice it is when it jumps out at you and because i put white and blue on the white fell off my brush and gave it kind of a wavy look now you can dip your brush into white again because your brush is dirty and you can dip it into the, the paint again and then you can make some little splashes Say the waterfall is falling down and splashing at the bottom there. So you can make a few little splashes just by tapping the corner of your brush. 
Tap the corner. Tap, 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 tap. Pick up some more white. Tap, 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 tap. Pick up some more white because it's blending with the blue a lot. So we just want to see. And it makes some splashes. See? I hope you can see that okay. See? Poor YouTube. I'm doing a live on YouTube and it's uh, it's giving me a hard time over there. It's lagging really bad, so I don't. Uh, I should shut it down. But it seems to be five or six people still watching. It's, it's sin. I feel bad that they're. Oh, thank you, Pam. Pamela. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Now, so that's your little splash, right? And then uh, we can. Make a little rock wall right here, or you know, you grass there, whatever you want to do. I'll put a little bit of rock wall there just to show you what you can do, but you don't have to have a rock wall. So I'm just going to take a flat brush. I'm glad you love the work. Thank you for paintings. Yeah, I'm glad you like them. It's good. I really am love teaching. I love teaching. I love singing. I love playing guitar. I haven't played guitar very much. Uh, hi Sweden. Hi. Yeah, I um, I love doing all kinds of stuff, you know. And uh, since I've been trying to do a little bit of live, I love live. It's kind of addictive, you know, because you get to talk to a lot of people. People coming and going. I noticed in lives, you might get fifty people, and then next thing you got twenty people, next thing you got thirty people. So people are coming and going. And yes, it'd be nice to have thousands, but you know, maybe down the road, maybe. Uh, maybe as people get to if they enjoy the painting i know we do very well when myself and bernie goes down and sings songs and plays guitar we do really well there we have a lot of fun bernie loves it right so uh yeah so i'm going to make a little bit of a let's see i don't know if i want a brick wall or not i'm not sure not sure what i want to do with this here um Let's see, I'm gonna go with some black. All right, I'm gonna go with some black on one side of my little flat brush and some yellow on the other side. So I got one side black and one side yellow. And I'm just going to take the tip of my, top of my brush, it's called a chisel edge of your brush. It's called a chisel edge. See how it's chiseled, it's kind of, like see how thin it is? And you're gonna take it horizontal and you're just gonna to touch and pull. And then when you do that, you get these little, I'll do my right hand so you can see it. And you do these little rocks. I can't paint with my right hand. <laughs> but you, you can do these and you can add different colors. Maybe a bit of red this time with black on the back. All right, so you get different colors because you know how those stones and rocks are, are uh, different colors. And I'm just touch and pull, touch and pull, touch and pull. I'm going to have to make them bigger and brighter so you can see them. Hi, David. Are you have much lagging? I know that my, my uh, YouTube is not doing very well over there. But thanks for coming in. Yeah. Uh, do you going to have a session and paint fog? Paint fog? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. I'll show you how to paint mist, fog, and smoke because it's all the same technique yeah multi-talented well you know um, as you as you're growing up you pick up these little things that you love to do i was i loved to sing when i was three years old you know picked up guitar when i was 18 always on stage singing performing theater you know all kinds of really nice things i always loved i always loved being in front of an audience isn't that weird <laughs> So I'm going to go white so you can see it and some red and I'm just going to put some bigger ones here. They might look funny because I'm trying to just give you an idea. You can make all kinds of stones. You can make them big, small, you know. So I'm using white and red and a bit of black, just all kinds of colors just to get these, get these started for you. Okay, so these are gonna, like I said, this brick wall is not what I want it to be, but I just wanna give you an idea that you can put these little rocks there. Cause I'm standing up and I'm trying to lean over. I can't get what I'm looking for. That looks kind of weird, but that's fine, isn't it? Colorful, 
nice and colorful. I like it. I like it. I put blue on my brush, black, yellow, all kinds of colors. And if I could get my hand to work right, I would be able to do a decent one. Chiseled edge and pull, 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 and stagnate them. Stag them so that stagnate them so they're not in, uh, you know, so they're not just straight lines. This one is just gonna go like this. So I'm just gonna come down to the end of the waterfalls. So gotta get more color, white and blue and yellow. I know it looks kind of funny. It's because I can't get them while I'm standing up. But it's just a matter of just touching and pulling over a little bit and you'll get these sort of rock formations. See, these are thinner than those over there. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. What I want to do right now is get a bristle brush and I'm gonna try this round brush. I got several big bristle brushes. I wanna show you how what you can do with them. Uh, f no, I don't wanna be famous, thank you. <laughs> I don't wanna be famous. I was shopping out today and uh, somebody said hello. They said, oh, you're from TikTok. You, and they, they recognized me from TikTok and I was like very surprised and, uh, and it was fun. And I was like, oh my God, I reckon somebody recognized me from TikTok and it was fun and everything, but you know, if you're if being famous is like takes away all your privacy and all that kind of stuff you know i take the money that goes with it though <laughs> so you always wet your brush you wet your brush and then you take your brush and i'm going to make some grass down here so i'm just going to go with my yellow so you can take yellow and blue and you can make a really nice green okay see that nice green that you're getting from yellow and blue Add a little bit of red to it also to tone it down a bit because it was a bit too green. See? So all these colors should mix in. And we can put that down here around the water. And you just tap, 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 tap. And you will highlight that and probably put a few flowers on it or something. Probably put some rocks around, a few things like that. But I'm just gonna just gonna make this nice grassy area. See? Make a nice grassy area. All right, and underneath those rocks, just tap, 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 tap. Good. You keep doing that. You can use a round brush or you can use a flat brush. I also have a flat bristle here, and you wet it, and then you tap into your green and your right and your blue to get green. A bit of red. Right, and then you get a little bit of red kind of, uh, because green and red are complementary to each other. If you add complementary color to your green, it will, it'll tone it down a bit. It'll make it more neutral. So just tapping that, because I don't want the green to be a cartoony green either, right? So just tap, tap, tap. And you do the same thing on the other side. And mixing my color see it how e I mean it's so easy if you just know what brushes to use what colors to mix painting is very very easy well I make it easy I make it easy because it can be very complicated you know some people really get into a lot of detail and uh, technical but I'm kind of loose and just enjoy it just have a bit of fun it's so. all yeah so that dries up there, I'm gonna add some grass there too. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna highlight this grass right here with my fan brush. So take your fan brush again. Fan brush is great for all kinds of things. Some people don't like the fan brush, but I love the fan brush. So this here is grass. So I'm gonna highlight that with some, I'm gonna add some yellow to my green to bring it up again. And then I'm going to tap again. So I want to get that to highlight even more and, and the, the fan brush makes it look more grassy, see? It's coming down over a hill a little bit and then it straightens out so you can, now you can make it more flat. 
Okay, we do the other side. And try to do it with my right hand so it won't be in your way. awkward when you use your opposite hand, doesn't it? So there's the grassy area. I'll let you see it. I'll lighten it up a little bit more than that now too. All right. I'm going to go with some red this time. Kind of make an orangey color. So red and yellow. I'll tell you another good color that uh, is burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is really nice. I don't know I got any left here. Probably ran out because I use it so much. I use burnt sienna a lot. It's this one here. It's burnt sienna. See that nice brownish, reddish color? It's uh, really pretty. You add that to your paints. Say you add that to orange. It'll tone it down a little bit and give it a nice orangey color. Then you can have lighten up your grass a bit better with that that color, which is really nice. Depends on what you're trying to accomplish. You know, you can look at a reference photo and that will help you, right? So you're layering your paints, you're layering colors over colors and that really makes them thick and vibrant. And now I'm gonna add some yellow on top of that just to brighten it up a little bit. dirty brush kind of throwing it in here and there but still going with the blade of land kind of gives it a little bit of a see I got three colors there really don't I three colors right I started with green and I put the oranges colors on and then some yellows on top see pretty cool and now I'm not gonna do very, like I'm not gonna do a big pile of stuff. So much you could do, but I, I'm just kind of hanging out with you guys for a little while to do that. Thoughts on my thoughts on Bob Ross? Now Bob, they asked my thoughts on you. So what do you think of that? See, it's the true joy of painting is hanging out with Bob Ross. I learned a lot from Bob and I love his paintings and he, I think Bob Ross actually gave people the encouragement to let them know that they could paint because before Bob Ross came around, uh, Bill Alexander was his teacher and he taught the same way, but more people got to know Bob Ross. So uh, before Bill Alexander and Bob Ross came along, it looked too complicated. People didn't think they'd be able to do it. It was just so complicated with oil paintings. So I'm using acrylics. So uh, acrylics are, are much better for me because I don't have the ventilation for oils. So, so I'll just put in a, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to try to add a few little flowers down here. I have this brush here, it's a chip brush. It's called a chip brush, see? See how all these are all, uh, these are all standing up and uh, I just got something in my eye. And um, what I'm going to do is going to make a few flowers out of that. <laughs> That's how I go. I'm warm. Okay, so I'm going to wet the brush. And then I'm going to dip it in some colors. You see how pretty this, this is really nice. This is really cool. This is really cool. This brush, I call it a magic brush. Everything I got is magic. <laughs> I got magic white, magic paint, magic mist, and it's all in my YouTube channel. Well, thank you, Callerton. 
thank you. I seen you over when you we were doing singing. I saw you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's try some. I don't know. Let's try some red on the tips of the brush. See some red. All right, and just tap in a few little flowers going up against that wall there. Now I'm going to add white to bring them out even more. Okay. And they look like little flowers. See. I'll put some yellow in them. See, so put all colors there. All colors. Okay. It's like pretty little flowers. Now I'm not gonna add a big tree like Bob Ross does in his paintings because um, I like to save, you know, save that for another time. We'll do some trees and things like that. Maybe there's some flowers down here. See, so those flowers are pretty. They could even be coming out over the water. Big flowers. White, red, yellow, blue. All kinds of colors. I like the bright ones because you can see them better. Pretty flowers. All right. Now... I am going to add a couple of rocks. So with, with a rock, I'm going to use black, a little bit of white to grade up a little bit. And then I'll make, a, I'll make a, a straight line and a hump. And I'll have a big old rock right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to add some white to highlight it so you can see it. So I will just start at the top. And then I'll bring it down on the front. Just highlight that. Now, it's also nice to know where the sun is coming in, but light seems to be coming into the center, so it's kind of spread it out, spread out everywhere. So let's see if I can make another rock. Let's see, let's see. Another one over here. Big old rocks, and little rocks. A little rock might be coming out here. And put white on one side and, and black on the other. And maybe there's a rock coming out here. Maybe there's one up here. Here. Maybe there's some down here. So if you put black on one side and white on the other, so black on one side and white on the other. And you touch, it's a flat brush, by the way, it's flat. And if you touch and pull out, you get a, a rock, like that, okay? You just make them big ones so you can see them. But little ones, you just make little, see? You make one there, you can make one here, maybe one here. You need some little ones around the edge of the water here. See, just tap, touch, 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 touch. So here, lots of rocks. How's that? Tons of rocks. Look at that. See, it's your world. So if you want to have tons of rocks, you can have tons of rocks. I'm just making lots of them so you can see how easy they are to make. Okay. See how easy they are to make. All right. So you got a nice little colorful painting. And you can put some water lines underneath here. Just to ground it into the water. The little shadows, little, little edges, uh, little water lines underneath here. I'm not going to do too much, but um, I want to add some foliage up there because now say you get you get a painting and some you don't like certain things in it. And that's where something like this comes in. You add some foliage. I got another flat brush. This is a chisel. It's a bristle. Bristles are stiffer than, than the other brush I showed you. Yes, coming together. 
it's coming together Mike Mike so um, so I'm gonna add a, a, a bit of green and yellow yellow and I should say blue make green maybe a little bit of black to tone it down a bit right maybe a little bit of that orangey color so you can mix all your colors like take anything you want and it's not mud all right maybe a little bit more red you experiment with your colors see and then you can take some foliage and tap down here but you try to leave some of those rocks there so that you don't lose them all and then come over by your waterfalls and you add some of these i'm going to add a little more yellow so you can see if you couldn't see it there with that right and then the foliage comes down falls down over the rocks and this is a good way to cover up something you don't like <laughs> sneaky hey right see you can still see some of the rocks underneath there but i i'm just trying to show you the foliage there or grass or you know it's falling down over that over those rocks it's falling here and there and it's more over here falling right down into the some of it is falling down into the waterfalls i'm gonna lighten that up so you can see it there and there we go there we go a bit of foliage up here and it's just falling down over the rocks that's all that's it and you can take a, you can take a, some more color I thought I had a palette knife there somewhere I thought I had a palette knife somewhere palette knife where are you I guess it's not there Okay, so I'm just going to take, I got tons of palette knives, I just don't want to take up too much of your time there. And um, so you can take some more Magic Bernie. <laughs> yeah. So you can take, uh, so I got a bit of a rock there with a bit of a highlight on it. Now this time I'm going to take the rock and I'm going to add all those, a mixture of burnt sienna, burnt umber, yellow, or burnt sienna. And um, I'm going to highlight maybe the front of this one. So I'm just going to come down. That will shape up your rock too, see? That will shape it up. So I'm going to brighten that up with a bit of white because it's too, or yellow, because you can't see it. All right, I'm just using the chisel edge of my brush and I'm putting on a bit of a highlight on that rock so you can see it. Needs more. It needs more color. So you have to experiment with it and see what you can get, right? You know, see if you like it or you don't like it. Or got some rocks going on here. Yeah, that's better. Much brighter. That's better. So it could be a rock. It could be a bit of foliage on the rock. You know, so use your imagination. See what you like. What you want it to be. Uh, that's all painting is it's just using your imagination to make you can use it for abstract so that's about it really I mean you know you can certainly brighten these up here you know just keep tapping away at the colors the yellows and everything yep yep I'm pretty disappointed my YouTube channel didn't work out. I wish I could have seen from the start. Um, I don't know if I if I can, because my YouTube one, it didn't work out, but I might be able to upload this one here, this TikTok one to YouTube. I don't know if I can get it on, I can't get it on TikTok because this is a live stream and they do hold it for 90 days. I can see it for 90 days and I can download it to my computer. So what I might try to do is download it to my computer and get it up on YouTube for you, okay? So 
just go to my YouTube channel and, and type in my name, Allison Pryor, and my all my channel will come up, okay? And then I'll try to get this up tonight or tomorrow, and then you can look at it from the very beginning. Um, so I hope that helps, Pam. And my all my channel will come up, okay? And then I'll try to get this up tonight or tomorrow, and then you can look at it from the very beginning. Um, so I hope that helps, Pamela. I had a friend named Pamela when I was a kid. Oh yeah, I'll I'll do that because then um, then my YouTube channel and people on YouTube then can see it better. But the only thing is, it will be vertical. You won't see. You know what I mean? Like that's why I wanted to do the YouTube one because it would have been horizontal. But um, if I did if I did TikTok horizontal, then your comments would be gone. I wouldn't be able to see your comments. They'd be uh, I don't know. I, I could try it, but I don't think it works. Uh, at someone's name. I don't know why that said at someone's name. I'm not sure what that is. I don't scroll. Oh, well, that's good. If you're a subscriber, then you should be able to get notified. But you can go check on it. Give me an email if you have any problems and you can't find it. Allison Pryor at yahoo.com. Okay. Got any questions or anything? So I, you know, there's lots more you can do. But I'm, like I said, I'm gonna so the trick to all right I'll, I'll tell you some oops all right well that's an oops every time I oops that means I made a mistake well I didn't really make a mistake it's a happy accent I made a happy accent so I got nice color up there now that's a happy accent so yeah so I brightened that up right so whenever what you need to do the trick to nice paintings is layering your paint see how uh, when I was doing this I layered my paint, I layered, right? I had black underneath the blue, and then I put the white on top of the blue. That's layering your paint. And I'm layering the grass now. I got the, the darker green underneath, and now I'm layering it with lighter colors. So you're layering it. So you're not, when you layer it, you're not losing everything underneath. You're just layering extra colors on top so that you can have highlights, and it brings it out more, it makes it a little more realistic, right? Now, like I said, this, these, uh, I'll do a better brick wall for you because that one didn't come out very good. But, um, but I can layer, but I can, I can hide that. <laughs> I can hide that. That's sneaky, right? But like I said, if you got, you might do a painting and then you, something you hate, you can't stand looking at it. You're like, oh my God, this is terrible. And if it's only one part of your painting that you don't like, you can fix it. You can paint over it. Paint over something that you don't like or paint it out just you know take it out because acrylics are great for being able to especially you know fixing things and making them look better and things like that so you know but now we got little layers of grass going down this side here is better because i'm finding i'm working on this side is kind of throwing me off a little bit because i need to stand in front but if i stand in front you won't be able to see it anymore you know so I'm, I'm leaning over and I can't get the same results I got over here but as you can see this is pretty over here see how nice that, that came out I'm using the corner of my brush with some nice lighter yellows here just to show you how nice it can be when you layer 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 you layer as much as you want And when you layer, you don't want to get blobs like I just did there. So if you do, you just tap, tap, tap to get rid of any blobs. It's to set as a blob, right? So you just tap over it, and that will blend in with everything. See? So that's nice and bright. A lot of my paintings are tap, tap, tap. Makes everything so much easier. This here is kind of dull, isn't it? Let's, let's take some green. Make it green with the blue and yellow. And just tap a little bit of highlight on that one there to bring it up. So I'm gonna add a bit of white to my yellow. And sometimes you might say, well, it's not working out. And you know why sometimes it don't work out? Because of your brush. It's not you, it's the brushes you're using. All right, so that, that sometimes throws it off a bit. Depending, like my this brush here is not really, I use my fan brush. 
and I want to show you things that you can make mistakes or you can do. And they're like, they're, sometimes it's a happy accident, sometimes it's a mistake you can't fix. So you have to wipe it out or paint over it, okay? So don't be afraid to layer. See all those layers I just put on there now? See how pretty that came out? Because I layered, 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 see? Right? And I can, I can lighten up those trees more too if I want to, but I'm going to leave that for now. You can even add a little more highlight to your waterfalls. You know, layer, layer, layer. That's pretty, isn't it? That's pretty for a quick little painting. That is so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll try and do some more. I gotta see what the interest is like. I mean, you know, I ha I'm not sure if there's enough interest there, but I'll keep trying, you know, and uh, maybe when people know that I'm coming into a painting, I might get more people in there, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a few rocks there. I found that I, I messed up that rock a bit, so I'm just gonna add a few more rocks there. Oh, that's too much. See how you can fix things? Just layer your paint. See that? Got a bunch of rocks there now, see? Love making rocks. But I think that's kind of cute. You know, so I'll try I'll I'll try to get this up on my YouTube channel. I, I think I pretty well can. Once once TikTok gets it ready, they'll save it for me. I'll go into my uh, TikTok and I'll download it on my computer and then I'll upload it to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So I think that's it, you know, it's kind of cute, right? Nice and colorful, a few old rocks there and things like that, right? I didn't make it exactly the same as the other one because there's too many things going on there. But I'll do a better rock wall next time and I'll show you how to do some trees and different things. All right, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it, you know? I hope you learn from, I want to, like I said, I want to teach you things. I want to sing songs. I want to have fun, right? You know, life's so short. It's hardly any time to do all the things you want to do. <laughs> but that's it. I'll let you go, guys. And uh, thanks for dropping by. And I can't wait to see you guys again. If I don't get in before Thursday, I'll see you Thursday at 7.30. Myself and Bernie and sing some songs for you. And um, that's about it for now. So I will see you in the next video. Bye for now from Allison Pryor. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video today and if you liked my video you can give me a like and you can share my video and you can subscribe and press the notification button so you can get lots more videos like you've seen today and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!